Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. Uh, from this video, I wanted to start PowerShell playlist videos. Uh, I wanted to explain about the PowerShell. Uh, many people need this PowerShell, whether you are a data engineer, data science, data analyst, or a developer, whatever the role you are, uh, you may end up with finding a requirement uh, to do or to accomplish using the PowerShell. So it is always helpful if we know PowerShell at least a basic level. So that's the intention of this playlist. Uh, so let's understand like introduction of the PowerShell we will cover in this video. I will try to cover that and uh, I will try to add few more videos in this playlist that will go a little deep into the PowerShell and how to write the scripts using the PowerShell. Okay. So in very basic language, I will be explaining it not with very technical terms uh, so that you guys can understand you guys can have a basic sense what PowerShell is how to work with it. Okay, so firstly, what is PowerShell and uh, running your first command? So basically PowerShell is a uh, it's like a command line shell and also scripting language both. Okay, so you can write scripts also using PowerShell or you can write execute commands also like using a command prompt how you execute commands. It's same way. So it's like a command line shell as well as a scripting language both. Uh, generally why people use this PowerShell is to automate any task. Okay, so if you want to automate something uh, you can use the PowerShell and uh, even when you are working with Azure resources uh, when you want to automate something programmatically when you want to communicate with Azure then you can use PowerShell also there. Okay, uh, so PowerShell consists of something called commandlets. So CMD LE TS that means commandlets. Okay, so that's the that's the way we pronounce it. These commandlets are nothing but like uh, imagine like uh, it's like a functions. If you are from programming language background, you know function, right? A some task if you can accomplish by writing a ten lines of the code, then that ten lines of the code you can keep inside the function, and you can call that function whenever you want to do, right? So commandlet is something like that. If there is uh, some task which user want to perform there are chances that somebody might have created commandlet for it. You can directly use that command actually in the PowerShell script to accomplish that particular task. Behind the scenes, these commandlets actually get created using the .NET or .NET Core uh, programming. Uh, but commandlet is imagine like a, it's like a command that will perform some task. How it will perform behind the scenes? Somebody might have written logic for it. Okay, uh, and PowerShell actually automatically comes in the Windows OS in the all the latest Windows uh, if you have installed then it will automatically come okay to cross check it right you can press the start menu uh, from your keyboard and here you can search for Windows PowerShell you can see here I am searching for Windows PowerShell then I can see this particular thing so if you are able to see this that means PowerShell is already available in your system so let me reopen that so I can open that shell PowerShell Windows PowerShell and I can click this open to open it and in this command line shell I can execute my PowerShell commands uh, that can perform certain task. Okay, so this 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 is an introduction video only I will be executing one or two commands. That's it in the upcoming videos. We will do a uh, little more things. Okay, so you see this we, we got our command line and here right what I can do right there is if you want to see this command if you have that itself tells that you have PowerShell in your system but still what you can do you can use this dollar ps version table command okay so when I use dollar peer version table so this will actually help me to list down the PowerShell version if you can closely observe here you can see here PowerShell version we got it right and the addition and there are a lot of information we got about the PowerShell here, right? So this PS version table command helps you to get all that information. Okay, and in PowerShell, right? Everything whatever the output you get basically these are like objects. Okay, so that means right now you are able to see this entire thing as a table, right? Whatever the output you got it here. You you are able to see it like a table. Actually, it's not a table. It's an object and you know object right in the programming language object is something which will have many properties and functions okay if you don't know what is object 
you should know a little bit of programming i hope you guys know it uh, or else just google it once or ask copilot once or chat gpt once you will get an idea object means like for example i am an object so my property is name is my property height is my property weight is my property and uh, my uh, methods or my behaviors are uh, i can teach or i can work right so these are things like my methods or behaviors my properties are my name my height my weight so similarly all this whatever you are seeing here these are like a properties of the object what it got retained when i executed this particular command ps version table to sense it if you have any object if you want to access any property of it you can use dot property name for example mahir is a object uh, then what i can do mahir dot name this will give mahir name then mahir is object then mahir dot height this will give my height so similarly here if i on top of this if i use this ps version property then that will give me the version details okay so i will show you that by practically running it so what i am going to do it now is if i if you see this particular uh, thing whatever the screenshot i have here it explain the same thing i will execute the same thing here so let's run this dollar ps version uh, and one more thing right when you are typing it i typed something i mean i haven't typed fully then i can press this tab button in my keyboard the moment i press the tab button you see that it's auto filling right so even that see auto filling feature is also there when you press tab 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 with the similar uh, starting letters if there are multiple commands all that commands will continuously rotate so dot then ps i am typing tab once again see ps version okay and when i hit enter now if you can clearly see the output it is giving me see i used ps version table dot ps version property and i am able to get the version the powershell version details here clearly okay and uh, there are three important commands about which we should know you see this get command get help get member about these three commands we should be knowing little bit so these are the three important core commands but firstly right any command any command in the powershell generally have something called verb and noun way of representation that means verb means for example get getting or set i am setting something or maybe add i am adding something so verb will be there then dot noun will be there like what exactly it is doing get process that means i am getting the process details then maybe get help that means i am getting help for some command similarly like if you see here set keyword key if you see this from this screenshot set is a verb and azure keyword key is the noun noun okay so i am setting the what 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 i am setting azure keyword key i am setting okay so most of the commands in powershell will have this verb and noun kind of representation okay so most of the powershell commands will have this verb and noun kind of representation and among those all these all the commands these commands whatever you are seeing here right get command get help get member these are three important commands we will mostly see about this get command and get help in this video so get command what it will do it will list all the available commands in your system's powershell so my system has a powershell right in my system what and all the commands i have it will try to list me down all that commands actually okay and uh, before proceeding this video from here right so what i will do i have executed my powershell commands in this particular powershell command line right so now what i will be doing it i am going to visual studio code you can also execute your powershell using the visual studio code as well in the visual studio code right you, when you click on when you go to the menu you see that terminal menu and you see there is something called new terminal click that to open the terminal and you see when you open the terminal you can select whether like say i am selected powershell here if you want to select like my terminal should be command prompt my terminal should be powershell or my terminal should be javascript terminal so what type of terminal you want you can select it so i am selecting powershell that is the reason you can see here powershell as a terminal there okay so that means now here i can run write the powershell commands so just now we tried that right ps version so i am hitting the tab once again this see dot ps again tab version i am hitting enter see 
I am able to see the same thing. That means I am able to execute the PowerShell commands from the Visual Studio code as well. Okay, so now uh, going back to our one node, see get command is the command that will help you to list down all the commands available in your PowerShell. Uh, so for example, I said command is something that will help you to perform certain tasks, right? If somebody might have created some commands uh, that will help you to work with maybe Azure Data Factory, let's assume. Now you want to use that commands, then you should install that particular uh, commands into your local PowerShell and then from there you can access that commands actually. Okay, so that's how the things will work in our upcoming videos. I will show by taking one example and installing that commands into our PowerShell into local PowerShell and then start using that commands. I will show that in our upcoming videos. But now uh, in my system right now, whatever the commands I have, if I wanted to list down then I can use this get command that will help me to get everything. So for example, what I do now, I will go to the Visual Studio code and here I will use this. See, and I said, right, it's a verb, then noun. Okay, so get command, right? So that is the command. So let me run that. And when I hit the enter button, now this will try to list down all the commands from my system. You can see it listed down all the commands which are available in my system and you see there are some commands related to Azure Key Vault is also available in my system. So even that so that means sometime back I might have installed some PowerShell module that will has the commands which will help to work with the Key Vault. So that's the reason that commands are also available in my power system. When you execute this get command uh, that get hyphen command what I executed in your case it might uh, perform little different okay it might not list these many commands it might list only few whatever available in your system okay so now when I have all these commands uh, let's say I want to know more about some command uh, so there is a let's say here there is a command called write output I want to understand what this particular command will does uh, how it works and all so then what I can do here is I can use this get help you see here I am trying typing it right get help sorry get verb hyphen noun then what is the command name write hyphen output okay so when I use this and when I hit the enter button it should give me the documentation or the help uh, related to that get output command actually so it seems I have typed wrongly. I press the uh, slash there. Let me correct that. Okay, it's error out, right? So let me retype it. So let's go here. So write output. When I hit enter, now you can see that it is telling this is the command name. This is how we should use this. Like this is like a command. And for this command, I can pass two parameters. So these are like a flags. Input object I can pass no enumerator I can pass right these are like a parameters of the function if you have a function you can cast parameter we can pass parameter values to it right similar to that so co correlate with the functions how we can call them okay so and also it has uh, like it has this aliases instead of using write hyphen output I can directly use it like a write or echo uh, or see this is like a full documentation so many things right so this get help will help you to get that kind of a details there Okay, and now there is one more command called get member. This we will try to understand more in future. But for now, have a theoretical idea that this command helps you to drill down to the properties of the object. Whenever you execute any command, let's assume you are getting an object back. Now you want to know about the properties of that object more detailedly. Then you can use this get member command. We will discuss that in our future. Okay, and one last thing I wanted to cover is using this get command right you can actually search for the commands which are available in your system we have executed get command and it listed so many commands right but let's say you you it is hard to search for or filter for any command which you are intended to work with uh, so now how, what is the best way how i can search the command uh, which i wanted to work so uh, it is giving a huge list so then the answer is right. So for example, if I go to the Visual Studio code, let's try to execute the commands in the Visual Studio code only. And if I scroll up, you see so many commands are here. 
maybe i wanted to know the commands uh, which are uh, help me to work with azure key vault only and i know all the commands which helps me to work with azure key vault in the noun they may have azure key vault uh, that keyword it may have so i wanted to search for that commands then what i can do using the get command i can pass some flag value to get the details there so what i mean to this is so let me clear this here and uh, from the top right here so what i can do get hyphen command if i execute this it will list down so many commands which are available in my system so instead for this get command there is a flag value uh, the hyphen see hyphen will be have generally you will have this hyphen whenever you are passing something into the command parameter or command flag imagine that way so for this command or for this function i am passing something as an input to take that input and perform certain logic so that's how the functions work right imagine that way so we can call it like a flags here so hyphen then i am typing tab see name i can pass again tab verb also i can pass noun also i can pass right multiple things so i am pressing continuously tab to change the different flags available inside that command now for this noun so i know the commands which will help me to work with azure key vault will have in the noun noun portion azure key vault so i will use like azure key vault then star after that it can be anything maybe azure key vault uh, update policy maybe azure key vault uh, add secret something right it can be anything so i just press the star and now i am hitting enter see now it gave me all the commands which are related to the azure key vault you can clearly see here it is helping me to set the key vault and this is helping me to get the key vault and this is helping me to get the key vault certificate so all these commands whatever you are seeing here all these commands are actually from the key vault source only and all these commands are actually listed down with the noun of azure key vault in its see if you see any noun every noun starts with azure key vault only why because that's what i said in this particular command get the command where noun starts with azure key vault then i use a star there right so that will help me to do that filtration automatically so to filter your required commands from the entire commands list whatever you have then you can use this kind of syntax get command then on, on the basis of noun i can filter not only that on the basis of verb also that means set add get on the basis of verb also i can filter i don't want to get all these commands which are helping me to work with key vault i wanted to get the key vault related commands only but only the get things so whatever i can get it whatever the verb the get portion of the commands only i want to get it then how to do that so how to filter that so let's try to run this here so in that case get hyphen command then hyphen flag tab name verb i am taking a verb here then for the verb it it should be like a get verb then hyphen then noun in the noun portion i will say like azure key vault star okay so now if i execute this command and if you can clearly see see this so what output it is giving it here see i used get command verb get and noun i said azure key vault then star okay so now if you see here the output everything is verb with get only you see here and uh, every command noun is azure key vault only that means all these commands are related to azure key vault which will help you to get something with the help of get verb okay so that's how uh, we can locate any command uh, inside the commands whatever available in your powershell so that's it in this introduction video i hope you got an idea what is powershell means how to work with we can work with in the windows powershell when you search in the start button it will come right you can work there or you can use the visual studio code as well you can open the terminal inside the visual studio code and you can start writing your powershell and in powershell like every there will be so many commandlets will be there to help you to perform certain task the commandlets naming convention will be verb and noun combination and uh, get command will help you to do uh, like search for all these commands and the get help command will help you to get the documentation of any particular command right so i hope you got an idea uh, thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video uh, press the like button and consider subscribing to this channel to know more such interesting content thank you so much have a nice day